CataractCoach.com, fixing severe capsular phimosis. Guest surgeon is Dr. Mohana Al-Jindan from Saudi Arabia. This patient had cataract surgery two years prior, and that small central opening is what the remainder of the capsular axis looks like. There's so much phimosis and opacification and fibrosis of the anterior lens capsule that it's caused such a huge contraction. You're also looking at the maximum pupil dilation. Now, some micro scissors are being used to make a cut in that anterior capsular structure. You can tell that, fortunately, the lens is very stable. There's not a lot of pseudophacodinesis. The xylitol is really holding in place quite well. So that initial cut, a few things are going to be tried. First is using a phaco probe. Can the phaco probe be used to buzz into and maybe break apart some of this anterior capsular structure? And the answer in this case is not really. So this is such a thick and fibrotic tissue now with so much contraction that even the phaco probe won't buzz into it. Now micro graspers and micro forceps are used to try to grab this and maybe we can tear another larger capsular rexus but this tissue just doesn't want to tear. And that's kind of the nature of this fibrotic tissue. So what's going to be the next approach? Well, to use the micro scissors again here, Dr. al is doing a great job of making more radial cuts to expand the uh, uh, towards the periphery. Now those same scissors are going to be used in order to cut this tissue very carefully. So the tissue is going to be cut, and you can see one hand, the left hand is using forceps to hold it. The right hand has the micro scissors, and the tissue is very carefully cut. And this is going to expand, obviously, the effective pupil zone for the patient. And this can be completed for 360 degrees, and you can cut the size of the pupil that you'd like. And here now switching to a different paracentesis and different approach, we can complete the 360. Another approach would be to use an anterior vitrector. You could use a 23 gauge vitrectomy instrumentation and use that on a relatively low cut rate to cut away and then aspirate little bits of this fibrotic lens capsule. So if you have a patient who has this very severe phimosis, the best option is to treat it very early before there's this much fibrosis and contraction. But if it's like this patient who was lost to follow up for a couple of years and then comes in with this end stage issue, number one, make sure the eye wall is very stable and there's not a lot of movement or zonular weakness. And in this case, they're very lucky. The lens looks great. And then use the micro scissors that you've seen here or maybe a vitrector to clean it up and you'll have a beautiful result just like this. If you'd like to submit your video, please go to cataractcoach.com. You can sign up for our free daily email. And also, there's a link to submit your video, and we can review it here, either with your name or anonymously. Thank you.